Howdy everyone, Lordy here with Lord's Lair, your source of out of this world gaming interviews. And it is that time of the year again, the HasLab Project. The Devourer of Worlds is here, so without further ado, let's get right down into it. As you can see, this box is absolutely massive. Here's the uh, Stormbreaker, just for a uh, comparison of how big that actually is. And that Stormbreaker sits this high on me, so... A little bit over waist level uh, for the Stormbreaker, and then this thing is that large. So let's get it open here. Okay, so apparently mine come in two boxes. I don't know if everybody's is going to be that way, but that's kind of weird. It's the exact same box, it looks like, in another box. So let's open this one. Okay, so three boxes later, here is our HasLab Galactus. As you can see, this is the uh, box art that we all decided on. You remember, Hasbro let us decide on which one, or vote on, rather, which one that we wanted to go with, and this was the winner. So it's a, some beautiful artwork on the front. They kind of have it uh, set up like a, a comic page cover, which is pretty cool. And then it says uh, HasLab down here in the bottom, and it also has a recommended age of 14 plus. Don't know what 14-year-old can buy this expensive figure, but hey, have at it if they can. So it also comes with the Frankie Ray figure. This girl here, Silver Surfer, which we have several of. And then uh, Marvel's Morgue, which is this guy here. And they're all three uh, Heralds of Galactus. I'll let you see the box art on the sides, which I believe is the same. Yes, so other side is the exact same as this side. And then on the back there, just looks like a uh, planet, you know, probably one he's about to devour. Uh, let's break it up and see what you guys think. Okay, so here he is, out of box. Comes with this protective cover over the front, as soon as you get it out. And it also has a, uh, kind of like what we're used to with the figures. I'm going to pull that to the side for the moment being, and we'll revisit that here in just a moment. Looks like it has some pieces to Galactus itself in there. So Galactus himself actually has some some holders in there, some styrofoam holders. And then one at the bottom here that I'm gonna take out here in just a moment. He also has his face plates on this side and then the trash on this side, the doom head. I don't think anybody's gonna use that. So let's get that doom head out and let's throw it in the trash. Get the face plates out. Just to give you a closer look at the difference of them. Then you've got the one that in it that's in it that's just like a basic head here. So I went ahead and put the batteries in for you guys. It takes four AAA batteries, two in the top of his head and two on his back, like his neck area. Just wanted to show you guys. This is the button you use to turn his chest reactor on. And then this right here is the button you use. His ear pieces and then his uh, headpiece on. And here's a comparison to last year's HasLab project, the Sentinel. As you can see, he towers above that project. Now let's get down to some alternate accessories. Give you guys a look at the back before we actually do get into that. Well worth the wait. Just wanted to give you guys a look at these alternate faceplates and how to change these faceplates. So we have the skull one, and then this is the normal one that came in it. And then this is the more of aggressive face. So to change these, there is a open area on the inside of the head, so you gotta remove the head. To change these, just stick your finger up in there and pop it out and pop the one that you want to use in. And just for you guys, I dug through the trash and got this thing out. So I'm sorry if somebody likes this headpiece. I don't. I think this is the trashiest tier we possibly could have got. 
I would have 100% rather had a, another Herald or something with the amount of plastic they used for this trash. But let's move on to the figures. Alrighty, we're going to start with the Nova figure. Going to get her on a full rotation so you guys can see the full effect. She has a flame effect here. It's got a weird bottom, so I'm kind of wondering if that's going to attach to Galactus some way. Uh, I've not seen anybody do it just yet, so I'm not sure exactly how that's going to work. But I will try to figure it out for you guys and show you at the end of the video if that is something that you can do. So, uh, as you can see, she's a uh, completely new like hair mold and all that, of course, because it's the, the flame head. And then the, uh, the base itself is obviously new. And she has this gold effect to her, almost like uh, the new the new Spider-Man figure that we got. Uh, kind of like the arms on that is what it reminds me of. Uh, now that you got a full rotation on her, I'm going to show you some of her accessories. She's got a fisted hand, an alt alter alternate fisted hand for the left side. She also has an alternate fisted fisted hand for the right side. And then two open hands, one for each side. Two grasping hands. So let's get her off of the rotating table here. And let's show you the surfer. So first things first, I want to tell you that this is the exact same board mold from the other one. But uh, it's just a, a slightly different color. And the figures themselves are different get him on a full rotation and then I can show you that there. Uh, going into some articulation with these figures also, um, Surfer has a, a regular joint at the foot there and then a boot cut, double jointed knees, then a thigh cut, uh, just some standard range of uh, motion with the legs there. And then he has a waist swivel an ab crunch, butterfly joints at the shoulders, and then double jointed, jointed elbows. Some of the alternate alternate accessories for him are kind of what we got last time with the uh, the surfer figures, the obsidian figure and the uh, the regular silver surfer. And then just to show you a difference on these figures, there's really not that much difference. Um, you can tell that he's a lighter silver, and uh, it does seem to be a different mold for the head, but the uh, the body overall is, looks like the same figure for these. Okay, so starting off with Morg here, I'm going to give you a full rotation, talk about some articulation with him and the Nova figure. So at the foot, you actually get the standard range of motion, uh, no toe joint or anything like that. And then moving on up the figure, he does not have a boot cut um, due to those boots being so large, I'm sure. And then he has double joints at the knee, a thigh swivel, standard range of motion with the legs there. Uh, no waist swivel, but he does have an ab crunch. And then he has kind of standard joints at the shoulder. And then he has double jointed elbows. The only alternate accessory he gets is that battle axe. So with the uh, range of motion on the Nova figure here, she just has standard joint at the foot, double jointed knees, no book cut, uh, does have a thigh cut, and standard standard uh, range of motion with the legs there, no waist swivel. She does have a torso rocker though, and then standard joints at the shoulders, and then double jointed elbows, which we don't see a lot on female figures, uh, but she does have it. So, I did forget to mention two alternate accessories with the Surfer. And these are actually really cool. Well, one of them is anyway. This is the recycled uh, energy effect that we get with a lot of figures nowadays. But this effect here um, actually does connect to Galactus's hand some way. And the board sits right on top here. Let's see if I can get that in there and show you. Just like that. All right, guys, so here he is on the shelf. Just want to give you a quick look at everything. We've got the Sentinel over there. 
Just look at the sheer size comparison of the Sentinel compared to the Galactus. I had to bend Galactus's knees a significant amount just to get him in there. If anybody's wondering how I have him behind the glass, I got them a uh, custom cut at Lowe's. They're just half pieces of the uh, original Detoff shelves. All right, guys. Well, that's got it. Another HasLab in the books. Definitely worth the wait if you ask me. So once again, this is Lordy with Lord's Lair, your source of out-of-this-world gaming interviews. See you next time.